We're at Bell de Taco, or Taco Bell. And the lady told us to hold for one second, and really it was more like 30 seconds. Long enough for her to spit in our food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I really hope she can't hear me right now. Counting down the seconds. <laughs> Lies! One of our favorite Walmart activities, digging through the $5 DVD bin. I'm so excited because I found the Dolly movie and burlesque. Yay. Are you finding anything good? Look at Honey Bunny. He has a nice shaved head now. Buzzed head. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Some movies. Yeah. They've added what? more. We are balling. 20 movies. 20 movies for $5? Yeah. $5, 20 movies. That's like and a... You start reading about what's in them and you're like, oh, that's why. Because, look, it's... Z. Z list films. <laughs> um, you have Tarzan and the Green Goddess, Tarzan and the Trappers, Tarzan the Fearless, the new adventures of Tarzan, Tarzan's Revenge, and all of these were made 1938, 1958, 1933, 1935, oh my and 1938. That'd actually be kind of cool. I think about picking that one up. Given the time frame, those aren't like recent movies, they're like antique movies. <laughs> the most recent one is 2005. Oh. But it looks like most of them... That one will be Ghetto Fabulous, without the fabulous. As long as it's in there. Wow. And I see that it's been kind of ripped. Let's we'll see if we can find one that's not ripped. Yeah. That's the problem about these bins. You never know what you're going to find. Just like Forrest Gump and his box of chocolates. <laughs> So we just finished shopping at Walmart and he's replacing his windshield wiper blades right now. They have like some kind of little mini video camera that I was tempted to pick up. It's like $20 and I think it's called a jazz cam. I need to remember that so I can look it up online to see if it's any good. But check it out. He's doing his windshield wipers. He has two different types of windshield wipers too. They're not the same blade. Look at him go. Look at him go. I don't even know what time it is. I know it's after midnight. We go out walking after midnight. <laughs> I like that there's headlights from the other car in front of us. It's going to be a nice light, maybe, possibly, I don't know. I just... <laughs> I want you to see we're crazy. Yeah, so to catch everybody up on the conversation, we both got two DVDs that are 20 movies and they're supposed to be five dollars but they ring up like 296 and he got the one that has the Tarzan which I think we showed earlier and I got the vampire one and one of the movies on there is called something like the vampire orgy so <laughs> we're going to watch it since we're like two adults by legal standards yes <laughs> Adults. You can almost hear the parentheses. Yes. <laughs> the quotation marks. Oh, excuse <laughs> me. There I go with my unknown commas and periods. Close enough, though. I knew what you meant. I actually called them parentheses the other day accidentally, and I had to, like, double correct myself. And my dad didn't even catch it. He was just kind of like, huh, what did you say? <laughs> I guess it would make more sense with quotation marks. Since yeah. It's quotes. Quotes. Yeah. We're quoting the word adult since we. Again, legally we are adults. <laughs> Mentally, that's another issue. We have ADD when it comes to talking. Yeah. That's well, the well, best kind of saying? talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Huh? <laughs> New topic. Yeah, you guys Lights. are lucky. I'm driving <laughs> in a straight line and paying attention to the lights. He's They're a, all flashing. He's a phenomenal driver. 2 a.m. in the morning. Is it 2 a.m.? Yep. It's actually 2.11. Oh, well, I knew it was after midnight. Yep, yep. Wow, that's like later than last time. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Hey, don't say that. <laughs> don't jinx yourself, please. Oh, shh. And the gym. The gym at this hour, the 24-hour gym. Yeah, usually like after midnight, it's still pretty full. Cool. Yeah, I was actually thinking about going back down there to the gym. Get your go fitness. Running. Go running on the treadmill. Yeah. Because then people really don't care how, you know, 
heavy you walk and how you're wheezing more than you're running. <laughs> Excuse me. But, okay. I'll just hold it on you because you're pretty. Oh, I'm so pretty. <laughs> I'm so pretty. I'm so pretty and with you. Or else I'll just kind of hold it back here, but I don't yeah. think it matters anyway. I don't think yeah. I can see anything. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> now you're all lit up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just went from... I like that you're awake now. That makes me feel a little bit better about keeping you out this late. So everybody knows my driveway because I do all my videos right there in that car. And there's my red car. So it's nearly 3 a.m. and we just got back, or, well, we've been back from Walmart, but he just left. So I'll show you what I got while we were there, and which kind of talk about some of this in the car already. If I decide to include that footage, I'm not sure. But if I didn't, well, then you'll get to hear about this for the first time. So, um, $5 DVD got Joyful Noise, in which it has my absolute favorite Dolly Parton. And I've been wanting to see this movie, so for $5, and it has some of the special features. Yeah! And then I got Burlesque, which has Cher and Christina Aguilera, and it has some special features. So again, $5, yes. It's all about the special features. <laughs> not too crazy about the vampire thing but he was looking at his dvd that had like all the 20 movies and everything and his had like the tarzan movies which dated back to like the early 1930s and so i saw the vampire thing and we're just kind of joking around and we were talking about like wouldn't that be something if i had nosferatu on there so i was looking through and i found some really ridiculous titled ones <laughs> like one of them is called Horrible Sexy Vampire from 1970, and another one is Vampire's Night Orchy from 1973, and so we were hoping that, hey, what if it had some crazy vampire movie from the early 1930s, like his head, and sure enough, it had Nosferatu, and it was dated 1922, so this was a definite must, and so it was like we thought it was going to be five dollars and when it like came up on the we had to do self checkout and it came up two ninety six. So it's like yes so we got twenty well I got twenty vampire movies for two ninety six. And I don't know, even though I say I don't like vampire stuff, I like the old stuff, but there's not really that many old movies on here, like other than Nosferatu. I think the earliest is like the nineteen 40s or 19, oh, here's one called The Vampire Bat from 1933. Uh, yeah. But most of them are, like, from the 70s. So, that's going to be really interesting. Oh my gosh. If anything, maybe we might get some good laughs out of some of those. Um, and then, they had this salt crystal candle holder which I've been well I have a salt crystal lamp the little oil burning one which is just basically an electric one it's not like the candle oil burner but everybody talks about the salt crystals and maybe I might do a video on that since voice is like about to give out because of the time but anyway so this is a salt crystal candle holder and what I was saying, um, the store Earthbound Trading, which is where I got my lamp from, they have the candle holders, and they're like $6 there, 6 or $7, and it, usually they have buy one, get one half price on all their salt crystal stuff, and so I've been debating getting, like, a candle holder there at $6 or $7, and getting one for half price for, like, three fifty. But I saw this, we were going down our clearance aisle, which we love going down that aisle just to see what's there. And this one was marked $2.10, so heck yeah. A lot better than paying like $6 for one. So I'm happy about that. And then I got some pizza combos with the little cracker crust to them. These are delicious. Love these. Quite have. And then I had this in mind. Um, these are the Night View 
glasses as seen on TV, the little aviator style. Um, I know this might seem really silly, but I was born with cataracts and it's to the point to where it affects my nighttime driving like used to. When I started driving, I love driving at night because the sun, like when it's really bright and like as it gets closer to setting, and it's just too bright for me in the glare. I, so it made it really hard for me to see. Well, I always like driving at night with the exception of headlights. Like, usually headlights just like, bleh, they were the point of almost blinding me, but I could still manage to get by. Well, lately it seems like I can see a little bit better during that time of day when the sun's about to start setting and it's really bright. I can see a little bit better that way when driving than when I can driving at night. Like, now the headlights are just horrible horrible like it, it scares me so I've dramatically cut back on the little nighttime driving I did but anyways I got these in hopes that it'll help which I was reading a review and one of the positive reviews was from an older man who has cataracts however my cataracts are different I was born with cataracts I have congenital cataracts so it's a, kind of a different nature but Still, somebody who has cataracts said that this helped him, like, greatly. Like, he estimated that he could see about three times better with these at night than he could without having them. So, um, that gives me a little more confidence in these, and I hope that these end up working out for me. Because if they do, then that's great. That will make me feel so much better and give me a little bit more freedom with driving than what I currently have now. And I guess that's it for now. Um, I mentioned this earlier. I don't know what footage I'm going to put in here. It all depends on how it turned out because I did a lot of footage earlier, which I think was crummy because I was like holding the camera or else it was dark. But I curled my hair with my curling iron, which I've used it before just in small sections to test it out that I've never done all over. And my curling iron goes up to like 410 degrees, but I did this at 284 because I didn't like want to do a whole lot of damage to it. Which I don't know if I don't know the excessiveness of the damage when it comes to heat settings and whatnot. But I used an ion heat protectant spray, which I actually just sprayed it on my hands, rubbed them together, and then rubbed it through my hair. But um, my hair, my hair usually doesn't hold a curl. Usually in order for it to hold a curl, I'll have to sleep in curlers overnight. But I like the way it turned out. It's turned out so much better and after I curled it, I just brushed it. But a lot of it was already falling out before even, I mean, like right after I did it. So, but I like that I don't have to like go up to like past 300 degrees. That kind of scares me when you have to use heat or when you use something that heats up past 300 degrees because even though my hair can probably easily take it since I have thick, coarse hair, um, I just don't like the idea of using anything more excessive than what I really need. So 284 seems to be a good starting point. But, um, yeah, I'll talk about that some other time probably. And then we went to Taco Bell and we ate in the parking lot at Walmart. And I don't think I really recorded anything from that. But there was this dude who kept just walking up and down this one aisle while we were in the car and just like that was really weird and creepy but it's Walmart so weird and creepy is pretty much expected and while we were in there I don't know I just got tired and worn out and didn't really feel like doing much of anything except for looking around but I had a few items in mine and I've got most of them there's some other items along the way and cameras and whatnot blah 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 so anyway I'll end this here, so y'all have a good night, which is probably daytime when you're watching this, but whatever, I'm like really losing my voice, so, so thank you for watching, and I'll talk to y'all later.